Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. Challenges remain as producers in Oklahoma try to get their wheat seed in the ground and established. Joining us now is Dr. Amanda Silva, our small grains extension specialist. And Amanda, these hot and dry conditions, things are not looking so great. Not so great. Uh, well, last season we had one of the worst droughts we had in a long time and we were hopeful uh, conditions were going to improve by time of planting, but it doesn't uh, seem to be that way with the current forecast. Let's talk about the hot soil and what that means for, for germination so we kind of understand what the seed and the, and the plant is trying to do right now. Yes, um, so if you look at the mesonet this week, uh, you look at uh, soil temperature. In Oklahoma, we were up in the 80s across the state some locations 86 Fahrenheit and some locations reached about 97, 99 Fahrenheit in, in, hot, in soil temperature. Germination can happen anywhere from 40 to 99 uh, Fahrenheit, but the optimal temperature for germination is anywhere from 54 to 77. And so those hot soil conditions, uh, they can really uh, harm germination, especially for some varieties that are sensitive to those uh, high temperatures at germination. And so what we are seeing in, in our comparisons, and we are working on updating that for current varieties, is that some varieties, they just do not germinate well in high soil temperature, in hot soils. And so we usually in those scenarios, we recommend uh, for producers, if they have varieties that are sensitive to germination in hot soils, so they uh, learn about it and do not plant that so early in September. The exception is that this year we are already mid-late September and soils are really high, the, the uh, soil temperature is really high. And so usually by this time of the year, we would be seeing some rain, so soil temperature would be lowering down and that sensitivity would not be an issue. But this past weeks with this dry conditions, wind blowing really hard in high temperature, we could see uh, some delay in that germination. We talk a lot when it's, when it's this serious of a drought about dusting in the seed. Is, is that what's happening and, and what guidance do you have for producers given, given these challenges? Yes, so there are uh, different ways we can go about it when planting in dry soils. One of the strategies is to dust in the seed and wait for, our, for the rain to drive that germination or we could try to plant deeper to reach moisture, uh, which uh, it's not really the case uh, here in our state right now as uh, subsoil moisture is also really limited. And so I am hearing a lot of uh, producers that are, that's, that's going to be the plan and it's actually going to be our plan as well. So I would just say uh, watch for that seeding depth so optimal seeding depth for wheat planting is anywhere from one to one and a half inches. When we are dusting in, uh, waiting for that rain to drive germination, we might plant a little shallower than that, so maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch. I would just be careful with planting too shallow. Uh, maybe half an inch could be too shallow in most cases, so just watch for that. But yeah, uh, following that strategy, I, I believe it's, it's a good plant right now considering the conditions because like I said, there are two ways we could go about it. We can dust in our wheat right now. It's the optimal timing for planting our wheat for dual purpose uh, uh, system. We plant it in an optimal window of, uh, of uh, planting, in, of optimal planting window, and we are not really delaying that planting depending on the rain when we get the rain we could be delaying emergency or we could rate, wait for a rain to plant that rain could take a very long time to get here and then emergency would be really really delayed so i think a good strategy right now uh, it is dusting in and waiting for the for the rain but of course those strategies are always on a farm by farm cases and so it does depend on the scenario it does depend on a lot of things and producers just um, 
need to decide uh, the, the source of risk uh, that they are uh, comfortable taking because, of course, the, when the conditions are not ideal, there are always risks involved and it's not one rule for everyone. So everyone just needs to reevaluate their system uh, to make those decisions. Producers are asking some questions about small seed size. What kind of guidance do you have there? Well, what we are seeing it is because of the drought we had uh, last year, seed this year is really small. What we are seeing in our studies is that uh, seeds, even though they're small, we are still having uh, a very good germination rate. I think that the main thing to keep in mind is that their seeding rate, especially if they're planting on a pounds per acre, that they might need to adjust it. And so that's also another thing that we'll have available in our blog. Another uh, thing to keep in mind uh, when planting in hot soils is the coleoptile length. So planting in hot soils can reduce the coleoptile length. So coleoptile is a rigid structure uh, in, the, in the seed that protects, that comes out of the seed and protects the, that first true leaf. And it helps it to emerge uh, in reaching that soil uh, surface. So when planting in hot soils, you can reduce that. And if a leaf, uh, if that first true leaf emerges under the soil surface, it takes what we call the accordion-like shape and plants can die. It, usually we see that scenario with the emergence when we have heavy rain and soil crusting and so that leaf emerges un under the, the soil surface. And so that's just something else also to, to keep in mind. And you have an updated blog and you and the team are also working on some fact sheets that we hope to see soon. Yeah, so our team is uh, working really hard on that. So we are really uh, evaluating emergence because we do need to update that information for current varieties. So evaluating the emergence of those seeds in hot soil conditions. So we'll have some information on that on our blog, on our website, so uh, producers can, can take a look at it. Okay, Amanda, thank you very much for the update. We will see you again very soon. And for a link to the materials that Amanda just mentioned, go to sunup.okstate.edu.